It's a nature lover's paradise, a neighborhood like this. It's a very quiet area, a lot of good folks here. Stand in Rod and Lori Coleman's backyard for a while. You're guaranteed to see. We have deer, turkey, coyotes, you know, rabbit, ducks. We have ducklings come up here all the time. But yesterday, a disturber of peace made its way through the manicured yards and this pond. I looked across the uh, the backyard and sure enough, there was a, a, a black, it looked to be a boar, it was a mature bear, uh, coming across the neighbor's yard. I was upstairs. That's Luca Contestabile's backyard to be exact. My mom and my sister were screaming and then I walked on the patio and then they were looking for the bear and I saw it and took a picture of it. I took it from like right there. Picks or it didn't happen, right? So he got to snapping this, a rare moment in a city so close to the metro. My sister said that nobody would believe her that she saw a bear. Never a dull moment. For a couple of avid hunters, the bear was no doubt a funny sight. Interesting that we'd have something like that in our backyard when we go up to Canada to take a bear and it's in our backyard. <laughs> On two legs or four, a trespasser is a trespasser. The Coleman's say they called 911, but the bear, it had other plans. Went into the uh, cocktails and then eventually crossed the pond through the neighbor's backyard and across the street and then down into the uh, woods behind uh, Creek Road toward the Chaska Curling Center. Gone without a trace, its tour through the city was short, but unforgettable to those who witnessed. I thought it was kind of exciting to have something like that come through the yard. In Chaska, Sharon Yu, Carol 11 News. The Chaska Police Department says they did respond to this call and they let the DNR know, but so far no updates on where that bear went.